Hey, we're in the Babcock's garage studio right now, and Rick from Hunter is joining me. He's got this great little tech tip that we want to share with you that you can do with your Maverick. Helps with balancing. Rick, what are we talking about here? You said, let's do a bead massage. Tell yes. us what that's all about. So the bead massage helps uh, in a short way to put it. It's, it's helps with the tire to wheel fitment. So after you inflate a tire, your bead pops on the wheel, but it might not be on there a hundred percent. There might still be some room for improvement to get better balancing numbers or, and or road force numbers from your balancer. So you said this would be great for new tires. Yes. Sir. And it'll also help with maybe an older tire that you didn't like the road force numbers on the balance. You also had mentioned something that's like a best practice now, or some manufacturers are saying this could be like something that should be included now on mounting tires, right? Yes. Um, so it is, it is part of a procedure for uh, vibration diagnostics and repair for some manufacturers um, that require a road force balancer in their arsenal of equipment for tire changing. There's two ways to do this. Uh, you have a, a new tire bead massage, one that's already been, that's just been mounted, it's lubricated, it's gonna, it's gonna benefit you to bead massage it before you take it off the tire machine okay. and mm -hmm. put it over on the yeah. balancer, okay. right? So at least you know that part's done in the back of your head. If you have a vehicle that comes in for vibration purposes and you're trying to diagnose that and you put it on the road force machine and you don't really like the numbers, you're not sure if the tire's fitting correctly on the wheel. This is, an, this is a procedure to do that on. However, it does require you to break the beads down, lubricate them, reinflate the tire, and then bead massage it like we're gonna show you. Okay. Yeah, so this one we just mounted uh, in our previous video. And um, so it's well lubricated. We're gonna keep it clamped down. We're gonna reset our, our diameter with our spindle movement here. Bring down our upper roller so that we can get an accurate um, diameter control here. And you can actually even hear, might be tough. I heard a little. You heard a little bit of air releasing, right? So that's the air that's trapped between the tire and the rim. So this is gonna allow us really to get that proper fitment of the bead rolling into the bead of the rim correctly. So all we're gonna do is line up our roller, get our diameter set, and we're just gonna use the upper and lower roller for this. And we're gonna just depress on that rim or that tire just a little bit. Once we do that, we're just gonna rotate this around and allow that tire to kind of flex and because it's inflated. So we're gonna depress that and then it's gonna cause a little bit more pressure on that bead to seat it correctly. Once we do the top one, we're gonna go ahead and do the bottom one. You heard the air yep, again. I did. And then as you rotate, you might hear little pops of air, pockets of air releasing while you're doing this. So it's best practice before you even go over to the balancer and road force it. And that's it, we're done. And on today's vehicles with these smaller sidewalls, larger rims, it's more important than ever to keep these vibrations to a minimum. Absolutely, yes. And techs know how difficult maybe to get one of these to inflate. You might have to go up to the maximum PSI to get it to even pop on the bead. It's true. Um, you might even have to re-lube it and restart the process over again of inflation it. So getting that bead to sit correctly on that wheel is just gonna give you better results on the balancing end. Love it. Another great tech tip from Rick over here at Hunter. Like you said, it's a best practice. If you got some new tires, especially like this, what does it take you? Just a couple seconds to go ahead and do this before you pop it on the tire machine. Make sure you check out some more of our Hunter YouTube videos where we've got all kinds of good technology and good equipment and good training available to you as a technician. Thanks for watching and we're gonna go do some balance. <laughs>